Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from this title, I am going to do a review again on my Nespresso machine. And if you guys do follow me long enough, you will know that two years later, I actually did a similar video. And until today, I still receive a lot of feedbacks and comments on that particular video. So I was thinking, why not do another review video about this machine two years later? Later. I really have to um, say out a disclaimer that I am still not an expert on my Nespresso coffee machine but honestly this machine really makes very delicious coffee so if you are a coffee lover I seriously recommend you to get the machine I am not sponsored by Nespresso or whatsoever but I just have a love towards coffee and I feel that personally this machine or this brand has a range of very delicious coffee that you guys should really go and try. For this video, I will basically be reviewing my pink or hot pink Nespresso machine over there and also um, trying out um, one new flavor that I got recently from the Nespresso shop. So if you guys are interested to see this demonstration again of you know how I use this machine please continue watching so this is my hot pink very beautiful Nespresso machine which I purchased two years ago in Singapore and with that it also comes with the um, froth machine I think this is called the in Iniesta, Iniesta. <laughs> I told you I'm not an expert but yep it does come with this machine which you know I will leave the details all in the description box below so this is nothing special it basically um, you know um, you just insert the um, capsule inside and I have to top up water over there and over here is where it you know um, I pour in my milk but it does have that stirrer inside that um, gives some um, stir or bubbles into your milk I will be using this too for today's demonstration nothing new but um, the only new item that I would want to introduce to you guys is this bag that I recently got from Ion Orchard because there is a Nespresso shop over there and they sell um, the machine and they also sell capsules so I got myself three different flavors of capsules. This is the first one. And inside lies two more capsules over here. So if you guys are, you know, coffee lovers and you are very familiar with, you know, the different types of coffee from Nespresso, I guess you would have guessed what the different flavors are from the color code over here. That's purple. Um, there's a brown one and also there's like a um, turquoise green one over there and each sleeves has the word Nespresso over there so each sleeves contains a total of 10 capsules so the purple one again this is the coffee flavor it's Arpeggio and um, this one contains the Caramelito this is very new. I'm very excited to try that one. And this is the other one, which is the Forticio Lango. And now for this video, I will be trying out this one, which is the Caramelito. It's the more expensive coffee among the three. So I love anything that has caramel. And I decided to why not let's try this flavor out for the sake of this video okay but if you guys are interested for me to try the other flavors on another video please let me know because I will be very very happy to try it out for you guys and now uh, what's also in this bag are, um, of course the receipt which you know I will not show you guys because I believe it has some personal information or something and they gave me a recycling bag so um, I am very surprised to receive this recycling bag because I don't remember receiving this bag years ago so it does say that please return to Nespresso boutique or Nespresso delivery I'm thinking it's because um, you know those used capsules 
you have to put it inside here and they would do some recycling on them I guess that's the only reason that I could think of but if you guys um, you know know it differently please let me know because I find this really very interesting and if it is so I think Nespresso is doing a very good job in saving the environment with this program but back to this again um, there's nothing else in the paper bag so yep that's all we are going to do today we are testing this flavor again on my Nespresso machine so let's get started let's start by opening this package over here as I mentioned earlier there are 10 capsules so there is the uh, production date and the expiry date so the expiry date is indicated over there not sure if you guys can see that but it's pretty small but you know there are dates indicated over here and um, there's a special way of opening the capsule I believe is it pressing over here there's some dotted line over here so let's try okay now that I press it what's next okay there's more dotted line over here so I will have to flip it up oh cool so yep this is it and there's a pop of capsule over there so let's take one to try for this video and, and of course I have to top up you know water in that container over there so I have myself a measuring cup with water so let's top up with water okay and that's good and I have to turn on the switch and also um, for this um, equipment over here um, I have myself a packet of magnolia higher calcium low fat milk um, some people would prefer full cream milk or you know any kinds of milk but you know I decided to go with the low fat one with higher calcium I will pour you know the milk into that container and let you know the um, machine works its magic so see that you know there's nothing inside and I will pour maybe about um, there's actually an indicator inside if you can see over there that word is actually max so I've poured all the way to max I don't think I will be finishing everything but um, you know I just pour it to max just for the sake of this video so let me just put it over there and once you know I'm done I could just press this button over there let me bring it closer and it will start to work its magic wow look at that can you guys see it's actually working its magic right now stirring the milk introducing some bubbles into it so that it's very ideal for our coffee later so while that machine is doing its magic I would like to start with the coffee and as usual nothing special we just have to pull up this handle and put our capsule into here and let's put it inside it's always this way okay and closing it just by pulling the handle down and as for my cup I have decided to use the small cup because I know that the quantity this coffee gives is a smaller cup if I'm not wrong so the cup will be placed over here and I will start by pressing this button there's two buttons over here one and two smaller cup and a bigger cup so for this caramelito I understand that it comes in a smaller cup so this is the button again and let's press one time all right I think what I did was just to activate the machine so now I will press this button again all right let's just see Mm, 
I could strongly smell the coffee aroma. Oh my god, it smells so so good. Well, I guess that's it. So one thing that I did differently for this video and the previous video was that I only pressed once. And if you guys were to remember, two years ago, I actually pressed a couple of times. And what happened was that coffee still drops out from the machine. But you know, with each press, what happens was that the coffee starts to look more dilute. So right now, what I have is a very thick coffee which is actually the right way to prepare it okay so this is what the others feedback telling me that you don't have to press so many times on this button one time is good enough by the way this cup that i have with me is actually a very very small cup but as you can see the quantity is just half of it which is fine i guess so yep that is how the coffee looks like and if you guys are here I mean this coffee is smelling so delicious and the aroma is flooding my entire home right now so let's see whether is our milk ready yep it looks it's ready so this is my finished cup of coffee and right now I'm gonna add sugar and also milk and typically I would add like one teaspoon of sugar so this is my sugar container let's add one teaspoon which is good enough I think and next will be the milk which I am super duper excited to see the outcome oh my god do you see that that foam wow looks so beautiful okay let's start by pouring you know the milk into the coffee all right that looks good and not to forget what about those foam I think I need some foam on my coffee that's for sure oh this foam is pretty stubborn it doesn't want to come out wow looks so good looks so good okay, I'm not sure about you guys but I love to see so much foam on my coffee so this is the final product of my coffee using the caramel little capsule so let's try and see how it tastes okay you guys this is the coffee and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stir and make sure you know my sugar is well mixed and the milk is also well mixed and I think it's fine right now wow it smells so delicious and okay you guys I'm trying to find a good angle so this is the coffee again it looks so yummy it smells so yummy and let's try Wow, it really, really tastes so delicious. It smells so good. Wow, this is something that you will definitely, definitely love if you are a coffee lover. But if you guys are interested to know how I feel towards the caramel little, I like, you know, I like how it tastes. It's not too sweet. It has a hint of caramel taste and um, you know, it's my favorite. I will definitely, definitely give it a thumbs up for this flavor. One more thing, if you guys are curious to know what is the intensity level for caramel little, let me check for you guys. Um, it says that the intensity level is 6. See that? The intensity level is 6, which means it's not a very strong coffee. So, you know, if you guys are just worried that it might be too strong, personally, I find that it's just fine and I really enjoy it a lot. 
So that's the end of my video. I really hope that this time I did not screw anything up or say anything wrong. But if I do, please enlighten me by giving me a positive and a kind feedback. So I really hope you enjoy watching this video. Thumbs up if you do. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on my Instagram. And I will see you soon. Bye!